Happy Friday everyone, it's Alan Cousins here from Wolverston Golf Club and what better way to spend this momentous day of the week by watching one of the Friday Fix videos. We've got some really good stuff for you in this week's episode, a bit of info on some get into golf schemes that we're running that start at the end of April. We've also got some uh, pro captain challenge matches so there's a bit of info on that. An update from the most recent Winter Open that we had last Sunday. As well as going out onto the course, we're going to be on the 17th doing a really good tip of the week for you guys. Okay, so stay tuned and enjoy the video. Okay, so firstly, I'm just going to talk to you about some getting to golf schemes that we're going to be running. The first one starts at the end of April on Friday the 27th. We've got a five week course of lessons that are going to run from five o'clock to six o'clock. It's just £30 each and it's great um, for people who haven't played golf before to get into the game, give it a try. You don't need to commit to any memberships for it. So it's really important that if you do know anyone who would be interested, pop in the shop, we've got loads of flyers. Um, some of the members here, the, there's a group that play every Saturday that have recommended uh, one of their players comes along, Roy Williams, but unfortunately it's aimed at new starters into golf. Okay, So even though they think he might still feel he needs a bit of help, he'll have to come to see me separately. Okay. But if you do know anyone that's new to it, definitely send them our way for these sessions. £30 for five sessions is a great price and a really good way of getting involved in golf and getting into the club. So we've also got some Captain Pro Challenge matches to tell you about. I uh, had a meeting the other day with this year's incoming captain, Neil Bremner, and we've got six dates set throughout the summer where you guys can challenge me and the captain to a round of golf. Um, big bragging rights up for grabs obviously, I've already warned Neil that he's going to have to have some pretty big shoulders to carry my game, but if you do want to challenge us, um, we'll do a little bit of a playing lesson in with it so everyone will get a, one or two little tips at the end of the round. The winners will have their tea paid for them, Okay, so there's a, a little bit to play for, and any donations to the captain's charity that you can make for doing this would be much appreciated so hopefully we'll get some good funds raised for the captain's charity as well as have a few good close matches and with a bit of luck some some wins for me and the captain but like I said if you guys want to challenge us keep an eye on the dates that are going to go up on the notice board this week and get your names on it. We've got a little update on the winter open that we had last Sunday. Uh, on probably one of the hardest days that I've seen Overston play. It was blowing an absolute gale, 40 mile per hour winds, and I don't think I've ever seen it as cold as well. Some of the golfers coming off the course should have had a camera out really, taking pictures of them, because it was a bit of a state. But really, really well done to everyone who did turn up and play, because it was really tough that day. Um, big well done to Dale Cleese and Ryan Quinn, who won with a great score of 44 points. Uh, from Barrow Golf Club, so well done lads. I'm sure you little boys are going to be watching this video and being dead proud of you. And uh, also a little update on the Order of Merit. It's still topped by Wayne McDougall and Callum McDougall. Big question is, can anyone get past them? We've got one event left coming this Sunday, so let's see if anyone can beat them. Um, join us now out on the 17th where we've got a good tip of the week for you. Welcome uh, out here on the golf course at Ulverston Golf Club and for this week's tip of the week we're on the 17th hole and we're just going to run you through some good tips on how best to play the hole. So I picked a fairly quiet day to come out and do this today even though there is still a bit of wind blowing it's quite exposed this part of the, uh, the course. But the first thing that we need to tackle um, when we're playing the 17th is quite simply the tee shot. It's probably the, one of the more difficult ones of the, on the course. As you can see, we've got a tee off from down the bottom here, up over this quarry. You know, funny enough, it is called the quarry hole as well, so a <laughs> bit of a fitting name there. But the main thing that's going to challenge you is getting the height on the ball to get it up in the air and over this quarry. So I'm just going to talk you through how you can get a little bit more height on the driver without going too deep in the technicalities of it. So the first thing we need to make sure we do is tee the ball up quite high so get a large tee peg get the ball up teed up a little bit higher and also place it further forwards in the stance that will help you massively in getting a good bit of height on it second thing really after adjusting that setup 
make sure you're positive when you swing. Don't be over phased by the cliff face in front there. Be dead positive. Make sure you hit through the ball. Give it a good positive action. And uh, you should find then a bit more confidence in getting the tee shot up high. Okay. As you can see, we've put the Callaway Rogue driver in the bag. So I'm going to tee off and we'll talk you through how we're going to play the hole. Um, just left of fairway which has left me about 100 yards into the green now normally this is really exposed this part of the uh, golf course and you'll feel the wind blowing right into you and across at the green which we'll see shortly there's a lot of trouble around the green so you've got trees at the back uh, a bit of gorse as well so the main thing to do it tends to be quite dry and blown off in the summer you can land it short it'll have a kick on and run into the green take a less lofted club Okay, you don't have to loft it up in the air because the wind will affect it more. Take a less lofted club, aim short of the green. If it's landed in fairly low, you'll have a good kick on. Okay, let's see how this shot goes. Right, so I'm just going to aim it right at the flag. finished two feet away I'll give myself that one to be fair I take a par on this hole because it is a really tricky par for card wrecker for a lot of golfers hope you've enjoyed the tip of the week this week see you next week guys